tonight on Bondi Rescue Bali. Two friends nearly drown on Kuta Beach. Is there um, is there an ambulance coming? Ambulance coming. Bali throws up another challenge for Tom. I want out. I want out. This is f out of control, mate. <laughs> From there, get to the black. And tourists who don't listen. I'm in the hotel. Jesus. Take me back to the sweet time. Over one and a half million tourists flock to Bali every year. On Kuta, the combination of powerful surf and inexperienced swimmers can be lethal. Local lifeguards patrol a five kilometre beach with no quad bikes, few rescue boards and no oxygen. They've got the skill, they're very attentive, which is great, but they just don't have the equipment. Their first reaction to a rescue is jump up, run to the rescue, go into the water without any equipment, which I think is outright crazy, like I'd never do that. You become the victim yourself if you're out in the water, it doesn't matter how good you are as a lifeguard, you've got three people crawling on top here, you know, you, you put yourself in a pretty life and death situation. Now Bondi's lifeguards are hoping to make a difference. Whippet's just flown in from Sydney and he's come bearing gifts. Yeah, look who it is. Oh, look at this <laughs> an excess baggage collector's yeah. dream. <laughs> How'd you go with customs? Oh, oh, I was all right. Pretty mad? Yeah, you look like a sultana. You think like a sultana. We've got a bunch of stuff for us. We've got Unreal. three boards. Get them out. Fire. Pretty much and everything we need. <laughs> D-fibs, oxy. How did you fit all this in your bag, Whippet? Not as that? useless as you look. No, no. Oh, baby one. How good is this, huh? Excellent. Oh, the whip. Yeah, you're a jet ski? Yeah, yeah. It's in my backpack. <laughs> it's in my other backpack. Salamat <laughs> pagi. Pagi. Abba kabar. Pagi. Good. Can I can? Whippet. Hey, how are you, boys? Good to whip it. Good to meet you. We show you the new equipment. All right. Yeah. You know what this one's for? Yeah. Look at the water, not the girls. Hey, what do you say? Whip it. Whip it. Very good. Good quality. Yeah, good quality. Turn around. A neck brace and spinal board are essential first aid equipment. Thank you, man, for a massage, boys. Let's get off on the right. Now for the big eye. Ah, here, this one. These guys have been operating the same way for nearly 30 years and we've been able to supply some wonderful equipment today. We're just so thrilled and the guys are ultra excited and we can't wait to get on the beach and start using this equipment and save, save some lives. A keen surfer, Whippet's been to Bali eight times. This time, it's straight to work with Marcello and his buff boys at post two. Muscle Beach down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Muscle this is Beach. Mate, muscle yeah, it's beach. all real muscle. <laughs> like yeah. I'm glad to see you whip it. Yeah, it's good to be here. It's wicked whip it. Wicked whip it. Wicked whip it. <laughs> Chavo said you're a bit of a singer. Uh, yeah. We're in the beach because all the boys love uh, art. We yeah. Balinese boys, I'll grow up with the gamelan, with dance. I come here, I want to feel the breeze, I want to feel the groovy. And smile, hey, and oh, swim in the beach with red, yellow flag. This time I'm so oh, serious. The later time I'm gonna be, hey, what's up, dude? And the later on, 
Right, right, right. And see, see, you are happy, fun, yeah, quite happy and fun. In other side, you are really serious. With yeah, what you we do. are. That's the way to do it. When you have to be, you be serious, and when you don't, you have a laugh and a joke, and obviously do some weights. Oh. <laughs> In his double life, Marcello is also an Indonesian pop star. He fronts the country's only rockabilly band and isn't shy about performing on a different stage. Pogi, pogi, jalan, 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 siang, siang, jalan, 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 setiap hari jalan, 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 la, 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 The sound of explosions suddenly sends everyone scrambling. Oh, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> we're sitting there and then we just look, heard all the bikes and looked around, there's smoke everywhere. Chapo just starts running over. I thought it was a loud explosion in the restaurant and there was a fire, like something had caught on fire in the restaurant across the road. Yeah, it was just a bunch of motorbikes in the street back here at Cuda going berserk. At post four, lifeguards spotted disturbance a kilometre down the beach. Yeah, a, crowd. a crowd has formed. It's a sight they dread. Should we go there? Have a look with a yeah. car. The quad bike gets its first workout. A boy and girl have been dragged from the surf. An American doctor helps. It's all right, she's breathing and she's got a good heart rate. Dino and Harry sprinted over a kilometre from post four. The quad bike races back to collect oxygen and the new first aid equipment. Both patients went swimming for the climb. 16-year-old Uden is recovering, but in shock. His friend Dawi is in much worse shape. She's got to go to the hospital. She's got to get O2 right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Hey, Dino, we'll do it. We'll just do it here. Just do it now. You're here. You got O2? Struggling for air, Dawi gets some precious oxygen. Then lifeguards make a disturbing discovery. That pulse is really weak. Real weak. Real weak pulse. Two school friends almost joined the list of drowning victims on Kuta Beach. Dawi is getting much needed oxygen, but she's not out of danger. Real weak pulse. Lots of water on the left. Is there um is there an ambulance coming? Well not yes. Ambulance coming? Conscious, Yatey. She's in a bit of a bad way. We've got defib and oxy here. Yeah. This one first. This one first, yes. Keep the O2 on her the whole way. Let's see if you can get a mask out, Yatey, and we'll put the mask straight there. That's it. Get the bag. Get the bag. Get the bag. Is this all over? Yeah, all right. Dawi's anxious mother joins her in the ambulance. Meanwhile, Uden has taken a turn for the worse. Harry's wants him in the ambulance and chases it to the car park. Now, both are on their way to hospital. If we didn't have that oxy there, that girl would have died in my arms, and I'm guaranteed about that. Bringing it over was probably the best thing we've done. 
In hospital, Dawi is stabilised. Her parents are in for a long night watching over their only child. If we didn't go down there, that may well be two fatalities already on the beach. I was relieved they were alive. You know, and we were prepared to see death, and we almost did. They haven't got oxygen, they haven't got defib and stuff like that, so, you know, if we can explain to them why oxygen is, is necessary um, and how to administer it and how to use a defib. Hopefully with our experience, we can help them to the next stage. Out of danger, Dawi finally explains what happened. Karena saking paniknya, kakinya si Udin tadi, saya pegang. Mm -mm. Saya malah bawa dia ke tengah, gitu. Semakin lama semakin ke tengah, gitu. Sampai akhirnya uh, tangannya itu tak lepas dari kakinya, saya lepas. Habis gitu, udah pasrah aja di sana. Nggak, nggak, nggak ingat apa-apa lagi. Gitu. Langsung rasanya hati saya kayak copot, gitu. Hmm. Orang permisi, 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 gitu, saya. Tak lihat kok bajunya sama celananya, kok punya dewinya, gitu, saya. Habis gitu tak lihat mukanya, ya Allah, tari gitu saya habis gitu dia langsung gini habis gitu saya kan diusir sama ini sama apa sama yang itu yang pegawai pantai itu dia tuh dia nuin dia gini gini ini dia muntah gitu saya kalau inget nah Bali surf is one danger. The island's narrow and congested roads are another. Hiring a motorbike is almost a rite of passage for tourists. Tom and Harry's are at Denpasar Police Headquarters to get their Balinese bike license. Test one, the physical. Could you get up? Follow me. Yes. One more? Yes, one more. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I said I'm mentally insane. I don't know why, but I'm Tom Woodle, I don't know what to do. I didn't pass. See that bagus? Bagus? Good, no more. No more, no more, see? In Australia we do the same, but we come in like this for Australian kangaroo. <laughs> like this. Like kangaroo. Like kangaroo. <laughs> toing to toing. <laughs> Test two. Theory. Look at two for the theory. Come in, please. University educated Tom knows his way around an exam room. But unlike Harry's, he's never ridden a motorbike before. Okay, for Mr. Thomas. Congratulations. Congratulations, yeah. You only make uh, two mistakes. Two mistakes. Two mistakes. Congratulations. <laughs> he's yeah. no professor. No professor. Yeah, no professor. Perfect. Ten. Ah, oh. you get 100, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much, yes. You are the professor. Professor, astronaut. You get two wrong. Congratulations, mate. Can't believe you beat me in a theory test. <laughs> Despite being declared mentally insane in our medical just down there. Tom's nervous enough about the riding test. This is a hit by the truck, big truck. Oh. They try to hit by the truck. Accident victim photos aren't making it any easier. Uh, and this one? And this one is caused by the motorcycle. 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 Hit by motorcycle. This is a pedestrian. If all that's not enough, Tom's bib number isn't helping. 13. Lucky. No way. Yeah. Thank you. Can you be nice, please? I'm really nervous. <laughs> I hate the road, I hate anything to do with the road, let alone a motorbike. Test three, practical. Your turn up. Click, click, click. On the ground. Oh, oh, above me! Above me! Hi! For Tom, just getting the bike to move is challenge enough. Well, yeah, he's, I can't even turn it on. <laughs> 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 All he's got to do is zigzag through the blue and white hats. Oh! <laughs> 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 
I'm fine. Anything in the water, just not on the bitumen. But the hardest test comes last. A real driving test. Boy, Harry's, don't leave me. I'm really nervous. Tom thinks the test is within the safety of the police compound. Go, speed racer. Go, speed racer. Go, speed racer. Go. Where are we going? Suddenly, Tom finds himself Spies pulling onto the right busiest here. street in Denpasar. Get chased. My gosh, boys. My gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, dear Lord. Where are you going? Where are you going? I don't want to go left. I don't, I don't know about left. Oh, my God. What's happening? They're stopping. How do I stop? What do I do? Oh, I don't like all these things around me, though. There's cars and people. Oh. Oh. This is out of control, mate. I want out. I want out. Oh, my God. It's unreal. <laughs> that was so good just watching Tom out there. That was the scariest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I can't believe we went out of the main street. You go, nah, sweet, we're just going up this up the road here. And then we turn onto this... And there was trucks coming at me and... <laughs> I'm losing it. That was unreal. Just feel at home. Feel so comfortable. I'm glad you associate well with these nuts, but I don't understand what the hell's going on in this place. It's my first time on a bike, first time in Bali. I don't know what's going on. Are you polite in the street? Still watching another uh, riders? Yeah. yeah. Good. You sell them and the change the gear is uh, very soft. Don't worry. Yeah. I serve you from the back. I'm yeah? good at changing gears. Yeah, good, good. And for you, absolutely. Excellent. Thank Excellent. you very yeah. much. Good. Yes. I passed. I got my <laughs> He passed. Come on. Agus, good man. Okay, <laughs> okay you get the license. Bagus. <laughs> In tropical Bali, time bends and sways like the palm trees. It's Bali time. But Bali's professional lifeguards pride themselves on punctuality. Bondi boys got off to a bad start arriving late at the first weekly meeting. Now they're late again. Time for some discipline. <laughs> Terry turns up even later. His seniority won't excuse him. Push up now. Tell them I'm all too old. <laughs> Get the oxygen ready. Iga, Ampa, Lima, Back on Kuta, the surf has picked up. A series of strong rips spring up along the beach. Lifeguards flag the danger, but for many tourists, the signs mean nothing. All morning, lifeguards direct swimmers out of the reef. A father and his three children repeatedly disregard the warnings. Lifeguard Crazy has lost his patience. From there! Get out of the flag! Too late, the man's young son has lost his footing and is caught in the reef. He struggles to keep his head above water. A boy struggles to keep his head above water in a cooter rib.
months earlier, Crazy had warned the boy's father to move between the flags. Jesus! The boy's unconcerned, but it's no laughing matter for Crazy. He's seen enough drownings on Kuda to appreciate the danger. What's wrong with you, Mike? <laughs> you have flag there. Go swim again, your kids. An Australian couple Just saw it all there. unfold. But he was going, he was getting swept straight out. Yeah. That little boy was gone for all money. Yeah. He was lucky you were there. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Good job. Well done. Good job. Yeah, we all job. Well done. <laughs> Jean Pierre and his family are from France. They've been in Bali for one day. They nearly lost their son, but it hasn't sunk in. The guard uh, come to uh, to save my boy, but uh, I don't think it was a problem for for my boy. But. Uh... There was definitely a problem. <laughs> he was in trouble. He was in a lot of trouble. He just refused to, to take any notice, even what? though his little boy had nearly drowned. In, in my eyes, I see he's drowning, you know? So it's, I'm, uh, I love the kids, but I don't want the kid die in front of my eyes. Bali's idyllic coast claims many victims. Two days ago, Dawi and Uda almost joined the list. On their way home from the beach, Harry's and Yatesy drop by to visit the pair. It's kind of weird to be to be here or going to visit her after witnessing her, her nearly die in her arms. They look very different from when the lifeguards last saw them. No way. Do you, oh, hello. Yeah. Hello, darling. For sure. Good to see you. Healthy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing to see you too. And it's such a good thing to see you with a smile on your face. He is only dead. Yeah? Thank you very much yeah, of course. for your hello uh, to my daughter, Deborah. Oh, yeah? It means a lot to us as well. It does. It really does. No. No, no. Yeah, very happy. <laughs> Did you know that that was for swimming? The red and yellow flags were for swimming? I sempat ngeliat, cuma dia nya nggak ngeliat. Aku sempat ngeliat itu. Come back to the beach and swim in the flags. It's okay. Sama sama, thank you. <laughs> so good. I'm so happy. I don't cry. <laughs> Hey, kid. Oh, so cool. That's great. Hello. Hello. How about you? How about you? Bye bye. bye. Yeah. bye, -bye. See you. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Next on Bondi Rescue Bali. Massive swells hit Kuda. A major incident as lifeguards rescue a woman and her two young sons. <laughs> New skills and rescue equipment are put to good use. I hit my head and there was a crack in my lower back. And we'll do it further. Watch your head. And a ghost ship runs aground on Bali's rugged coast. Rumour has it they even chucked the, the skipper overboard. I'm about to vomit. <laughs>